Alright, so I've made a little bit more progress, mostly in the visual side of things, and I've made us a chunky little astronaut to be our avatar. Uh, the air simulation is significantly better, so you saw how it can actually pull your character uh, along with it if the air pressure changes. But you can also see that our character has animations. It might be a little bit difficult to make out on YouTube, but our character is wheezing, and that's because the oxygen percentage was low. It's going back up now. So if we create a break, the air will pull us off, and you see our oxygen percentage is, it, our oxygen is decreasing, and our character is beginning to huff, and now he's going to start to, he or she is going to start to uh, choke. And then when the health hits zero, uh, well, the good news is that uh, uh, we are hardy space explorers, so uh, as soon as we get some oxygen back, we'll get right back up, but until then we can't move or anything, which is obviously a downside of not being conscious. And then here we go. Ugh. Also, you can see I've changed the wind uh, visual to look more like a cool... Oh, uh, the wind really brushed me off there to look more cool. Uh, also, do, also, you use up oxygen by moving, like jumping, for example. So if you look up here, it's going up, but if I jump, it jumps down 10 points. Um, I don't have any animation for jumping yet. So now I'm going to go ahead and show off a building collapse of a more catastrophic nature. There we go. You can see that uh, the air is completely gone where we are now. There's just uh, open space. Alright, just thought I'd show you. That's what it looks like from behind. Yep.